What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to overclock your PS5 controller. This will also work on your PS4 controller as well. So what you want to do first is go onto your PC, go to this link down below in the description. It's the Laura Mice GitHub page. And once you're on this page, just click on the third option right here. And then now we're going to click on download. It's going to download the file. Now I'm going to, to show in folder and I'm going to drag it to my desktop where we can extract it. So extract it. It's going to pop up another folder. We're going to open up that folder, head into driver. And what you want to do is look for the setup right here. So we're going to run the program, click on yes. And it should look something like this right here. So now what you want to do is plug in your controller to your computer. So before we do that, where it says devices, you want to select on that, select on USB. And now we can plug our device, which mine currently is already plugged in. So you want to locate your device and just look for where it says child's name, wireless controller. So mine's right here. Mine's already overclocked, but by default, your interval should be set to like five and then your rate should be set to default. But what you want to do is select on the rate right here. So where it says 8,000, yours will say default. You want to change that selected rate to the highest set that to 8,000 so previously I think a lot of people were having issues because they set theirs to a thousand but you want to set it to the max so if you're on a ps4 controller most likely the max you can set it to is a thousand but for me I'm on the ps5 controller so I will select 8,000 so next you want to make sure the filter on device is checked which is already checked right there and now what we want to do is click on install service so once we have done that we're good to go. We want to unplug my controller from my computer, plug it back in, and you will notice that your rate will be set to 8,000 and now your interval will be set to one. So now your controller is officially overclocked. You'll get zero input lag on any games you play on your PC. So what I highly recommend doing is maybe every couple weeks, open up this program again and make sure that your rate is set to 8,000 and then your interval is set to one just because sometimes it will reset back to uh, its original state. So do the exact same thing, set to 1000 or the max if you're on a PS4 controller and then make sure you have filter on device checked and then click on install service and you're good to go. So if you are um, if you do have an Xbox controller, I do not recommend doing this. I've heard that if you do uh, do it to your controller or to your Xbox controller, it will actually make it a lot worse. So this is only for PlayStation controllers. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video. And that's basically it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.